Today we're going to explain the mysteries behind the blood demon art techniques used by demons in Demon Slayer anime and manga, starting from Kokushibo's blood demon arts. Kokushibo is the most powerful demon in the entire 12 Demon Moon. He holds the rank of Upper One in 12 Demon Moon. There's several extremely powerful techniques in his arsenal, one of which is Crescent Moon Blades. Crescent Moon Blades is a technique that allows him to create and manipulate dozens of sharp blades shaped like traditional crescent moons from his flesh katana. They are implied to be created from his blood and can be either bright yellow or a bright blue. These crescent moon blades are extremely chaotic, constantly changing in size, length, and speed, making Kokushibo's attacks extremely unpredictable and unreadable as they have no set pattern. Doma is a sadistic demon known for his powerful abilities. He holds the rank of Upper Two in 12 Demon Moons. His insanely powerful blood demon arts were revealed in the fight against Shinobu Kocho. One of his techniques is Frozen Lotus. It allows Doma to deliver a forward fan slash that creates razor-sharp ice shards along with several ice lotuses. Another blood art is Baron Hanging Garden. In this technique, Doma uses his hand fan to deliver a series of 8 to 10 successive fan attacks that generate ice shards to slice the enemy into pieces. An honorable mention is a Freezing Clouds blood art. Doma creates a large wave of cold wind and uses his fans to scatter them. This technique has such an immense power that it nearly froze Kaneo's eyeballs in a fight. Lotus Vines Similar to his frozen lotus technique, Doma creates several lotuses made of ice and long frost vines that extend his reach and can capture or slice up his opponents. A next technique called Cold White Princesses allows Doma to create the upper body of two female humanoid figures at the end of his lotuses using ice, with the ability to blow icy air towards his target. The wind generated was cold enough to instantly freeze the surrounding wood bridges and water. Kaneo noted that this technique technique is extremely broad and has a long reach. Crystalline Divine Child With his powerful technique, Doma creates miniature ice replicas of himself to battle his opponents. He has shown to be capable of creating up to six clones of himself at once, all possessing roughly the same skill and proficiency as Doma himself, in addition to being fully capable of using any of his techniques, albeit not to the same caliber as himself. Furthermore, these clones can record any information it gathers during battle and relay it to Doma, allowing him to better fight his opponents. However, one drawback to this technique is that the clones require concentration to maintain their functionality, as seen when they disappeared when Shinobu's poison started to take effect on Doma. And the last one blood demon art in Doma's arsenal is Water Lily Bodhisattva. With this technique, Doma creates an enormous bodhisattva statue surrounded by lotuses made of ice. Its most notable trait is its ability to generate huge gusts of Doma's deadly ice from its mouth and deliver powerful physical attacks using its large arms. It is also able to grab targets using its hands. Akaza is a powerful demon operating under the direct command of Kibutsuchi Muzan. He holds the rank of Upper Three in 12 Demon Moons. Most of his attacks are so devastating that they left no chances of survival even to most prominent and powerful Hashiras. Power Needle Akaza deploys a light blue snowflake-shaped compass underneath him, with numbers ranging from 1 to 12. This technique allows Akaza to sense a person's fighting spirit, allowing him to detect and track the locations of his opponents, even from his blind spots, and where and how his opponents will attack. This technique can also be used to discern an opponent's weak points, as stated by Tanjiro when Akaza always instinctively aimed for his vitals as if his fists were magnets to attract them. Akaza always has this technique activated when engaging in combat, making all other techniques he unleashes extremely difficult to counter and evade while making his attacks more lethal. Air Type with this technique, Akaza punches the empty air in front of him, creating a shockwave from the pressure of his fists, and then sends it flying towards his enemies. These airborne shockwaves can be created multiple times in quick succession and can be unleashed in the sky or on the ground. Disorder is shockwave technique. With series of rapid punches, Akaza creates a barrage of ranged shockwaves. This attack was capable of overpowering Kaiojoro's flame tiger technique. Annihilation type is one of Akaza's most powerful techniques. Akaza lunges forward, punching with so much force, it creates a powerful shockwave that is capable of going through Kaiojora's most powerful attack, Regnoku. 
Akaza's next technique is Eight Layered Demon Core. Akaza unleashes eight powerful punches, each strike similarly creating large shockwaves to his Disorder technique, Crown Splitter. A reverse Rising Axe Kick creates a shockwave that deals additional damage to the target. Tanjiro noted that a slight scrape from this kick caused him to bleed. Explosive Fury a flashing flurry of powerful straight kicks, each creating shockwaves capable of launching Giyu a great distance while being fast enough to evade his reflexes. Flying Planet Thousand Wheels Akaza kicks his opponent with both legs in a flowing motion from under them that slowly rises upward. 10,000 Leaves Flashing Willows this technique is essentially a powerful downward punch that delivers a large shockwave into the ground that expands outward. And finally, Blue Silver Chaotic Afterglow, Akaza's ultimate and most powerful martial arts technique. Akaza creates an omnidirectional barrage of thin and sharp shockwaves that seemingly strike out of nowhere from a flurry of punches. This attack was so powerful that it could completely negate Giyu's Dead Calm technique, a move known for its immense defensive capabilities. Han Tengu is a demon with multiple personalities. He holds the rank of Upper Four in 12 demon moons. He revealed his inner self and techniques in the battle against Hinjiro, Weeping Spears. This is the technique Han Tengu used in his Aizetsu form. He violently thrusts his blade, creating multiple long-range projections of the spear attack. Crazed Cry of Thunder Death is a technique in his Zohakuten form. Zohakuten commands his wooden dragons to unleash bolts of lightning and powerful sound waves from their mouths. Countless Striking Trees. This technique is also used in Zohakuten form. He commands his wooden dragons to attack his target, making them rapidly grow bigger and multiply as they rush towards his opponent. Next one is Compressed Sound Waves. Similar to the Urogi form, the Zohakuten form allows him to open his mouth and release close-ranged sound waves powerful enough to disorient and knock a Hashira unconscious. Gayoko is a short-tempered demon who was once a human. He holds the rank of Upper 5 in 12 Demon Moons. He used his ultimate techniques in battle against Muichiro Tokito, Thousand Needle Fish Kill. With this technique, Gayoko summons floating fish demons from his pots, which spit out a barrage of poisonous needles. The poison contains paralyzing properties which immobilize the target. Water Prison Pot Gayoko uses his blood demon art to create a vase structure made out of water that traps the target. The water suffocates the target and prevents them from using any breathing technique, making it difficult for them to break free and escape. Octopus Vase Hell Using Octopus Vase Hell blood demon art, Gayoko manifests gigantic tentacles from his pots to restrain his targets. These tentacles are strong enough to destroy a shed and are noted to be extremely durable. 10,000 Gliding Slime Fish Gayoko summons a total of 10,000 slime fish from multiple pots to attack his target and eat them, leaving nothing but bones. When these fish are cut, their severed bodies will spread a poisonous liquid before they turn to dust. The poison is so dangerous that it can be absorbed through the skin. Once the poison is absorbed, the target presumably dies. Okay, I'm scared of fish now. Killer Fish Scales In his true form, Gayoko delivers a wide-range barrage of physical attacks using his immense speed. This technique is powerful enough to decimate trees in the surrounding area. Daki was a prideful demon. She held the rank of Upper Six in 12 Demon Moons. She had only one powerful technique that gave a tough time to Tengen Uzui. The name of this blood demon art is Eight-Layered Obi Slash. Daki creates eight long-ranged Obi Sashes to cut down her opponents from afar. Tengen noted that this interweaving attack has no blind spots, thus making it extremely difficult to evade or counterattack. Gaiutaro is an envious demon known for his hatred for happy people. He holds the rank of Upper Six in 12 Demon Moons. His blood demon arts techniques were revealed in the battle against Tanjiro. The first relatively powerful technique is Flying Blood Sickles. Gaiutaro releases multiple sharp and durable sickle-shaped blades of solidified blood by swinging his Kama. Next blood demon art in his arsenal is Rampant Arc Rampage. It creates a dome of sickle-shaped blades of solidified blood around him that defend him from incoming attacks. And finally, his most powerful technique, Flying Blood Scythes. It's Gaiutaro's ultimate technique that allows him to unleash circular waves of sharp, solidified blood from his body. This technique has a massive range, and he's even able to activate it as his head is being cut off by Tanjiro. 
Kaigaku is a selfish demon who was assigned the upper rank 6 in 12 demon moons after the death of Daki and Gautaro. His ultimate techniques are revealed in the battle against Senitsu Agatsuma. First one technique in his arsenal is Rice Spirit. This is the second form of Kaigaku's technique in which he releases five arched slashes accompanied by lightning in quick succession. Thunderswarm is the third form of Kaigaku's technique in which he surrounds the enemy with waves of arch lightning and attacks them from all directions. The next Kaigaku's blood art is Distant Thunder. This is the fourth form of Kaigaku's technique in which he generates a ball of electricity that releases waves of strong multi-directional lightning bolts from afar. Heat Lightning is the fifth form of technique that allows him to unleash a long-range upward sword slash accompanied by lightning. And the final, Rumble and Flash, Kaigaku's sixth form of technique. It allows him to release a series of powerful long-ranged lightning attacks that strike his opponent from afar. Even Zenitsu suffered a lot because of it. Enmu was a sadist demon. He held the rank of lower one in 12 demon moons. He revealed his techniques during the Mugen train arc. Whispers of forced unconscious hypnosis is a technique with a help of which Enmu forms a mouth on the back of his hand, which, upon saying go to sleep, forces the target into a deep sleep instantly. This technique can be used multiple times in quick succession. The next technique is Eyes of Forced Unconscious Sleep. When fused with the Mugen Train, Anmu creates dozens of eyes on his flesh, on which the kanji for dream is engraved on their irises. And, upon looking into them, the target falls asleep. Hiro is a mad demon known for his irrational actions. He holds the rank of lower two in 12 demon moons. He revealed his techniques in the battle against Kaojuro Rengoku. All of his techniques involve shaping his shadows into wolf-like entities and using his countless supply of weapons to attack his targets. Shadow Wolves With this technique, Hiro creates multiple shadowy wolves from his blood that emanate from his cloak. These wolves have the same suction effect as his regular shadows and thus can absorb a plethora of physical attacks and make them exceptionally hard to kill. These wolves can also conjure guns and other weapons. War Wolf of Horror is an ultimate technique. Hyro gathers all of his shadows to him and cloaks himself in them, transforming into a large shadowy wolf standing on its hind legs, akin to a werewolf. Rui is a demon with twisted views about family and bonds. He holds the rank of lower five in 12 demon moons. He used his powerful techniques in the battle against Tanjiro. First and most used technique is cutting thread cage. In this technique, Rui creates a web-shaped string that completely surrounds his opponent to cut them to pieces. Murderous Eye Basket Rui creates a spherical cage from his threads around the target that continuously shrinks until it cuts the target to pieces. This technique was powerful enough to almost kill Tanjiro. The next and final technique is Cutting Thread Rotation. This technique allows Rui to create a rotating wheel of threads that, upon reaching the opponent, will cut them to pieces. Dogget Spider Demon was a demon that belonged to the family of Rui. She had only one technique because of her low level, called Acid Cocoon. The technique works by entangling her target in a web cocoon filled with acidic fluids which are capable of dissolving the clothes of the victim, even the specially made battle uniforms of the Demon Slayer Corps. The acid will then move onto the target's flesh, making their body soft and ready for her to consume. Sun Spider Demon was also a demon that belonged to the family of Rui. He has also had only one technique named Poison Spittum. This technique allows him to create a spitting venom attack that is capable of dissolving what it touches. Nezuko is the younger sister of Tanjiro, who was turned into a demon by Kibutsuchi Muzan. She has awakened a blood demon technique called Exploding Blood. This technique enables Nezuko to ignite the blood that has exited her body, turning it into crimson pinkish flames that are harmful to demons. Tamayo is a demon doctor. She managed to get free from the curse of Kibutsuchi, but still, she retains the powers of a demon. A visual dream is hallucination technique that hinders the vision of the affected by creating beautiful flower patterns around them. Magical Aroma of Daylight is a next technique in Tamayo's arsenal. It acts as a truth serum, causing brain function to decrease and will make the recipient confess their lies and reveal their secrets. It can essentially be applied to every living creature, whether it's demon or a human. And finally, we reached most powerful demon in the whole series, Muzan Kibutsuchi. 
He's the leader and progenitor of all demons. He holds absolute command and power over the 12 demon moons. Muzan's blood demon art grants him powerful biokinetic abilities. Muzan has used the ability to alter and control his flesh, limbs, and even his organs. Using his blood demon art, Muzan can change his facial features, replicate and move the organs in his body, create weapons using his flesh and bones, contort his entire torso into a giant mouth, or even create flesh puppets that he can control. Muzan also possesses the most powerful and advanced shape-shifting ability out of all demons in existence. Not only can Muzan change his appearance flawlessly, but he can also change his aura and presence, which can even fool the enhanced senses of lower rank demons. He has used this ability to transform into a woman, a child, and even a large cocoon of flesh. Those were all the Blood Demon arts featured in Demon Slayer so far. Let us know if we missed something in the comments. We hope you liked it, and if you did, make sure you hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future videos.